Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I am doing a classic Christmas makeup tutorial of this look that you see here. Red lips, gold metallic eyes, perfect for any office party, any Christmas party that you may have going on. And I hope you guys like this look. I hope you get to try it. If you try it, remember, take a picture, tag me on my Instagram so I can see it and like it so we can communicate. Remember, I'm having a huge, massive giveaway on my Instagram. I'm donating $100 in the winner's name for every day of the month of December. And of course, you also get makeup, again, every day. I love you guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and this look, remember to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions, and let's get to this tutorial. I just woke up, I have my foundation on already, I have my brows on already, I am gonna go straight to the eyes, which are already primed and prepped. So, I'm gonna take this MAC pencil in coffee. I am going to start outlining my basic shape of my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna pull this line outwards, almost like in a cat eye style, and then I'm gonna trace my outer fold, kinda like that. I'm gonna try to keep it somewhat natural and just enhancing my natural features. So make sure when you do this step, you don't use a waterproof formula because then it'll become really, really difficult to blend out. I'm gonna take a pencil brush like this one, kind of just a pointy tip, and I'm gonna smudge this line out and just make sure that the product is evenly distributed and there aren't any pencil clumps anywhere. Have you guys noticed that my brows have been looking a little different lately? That's because I've been using a different technique. I'm trying to do the feather brow, but in a more natural wearable type of way. Let me know if you guys would like a tutorial. Also, I've been breaking out a lot, so I will be showing you guys my acne coverage routine very soon. Next, I am going to take one of these shadow palettes that I have here. I have this one from ColourPop in collaboration with Becky G called Salvaje. Very cute little palette. It's got a lot of nice and festive colors in here. I also have some drugstore options from CoverGirl. These three, I find them really cute as well. I would typically never do this, but because I'm a little bit in a hurry, I'm gonna take this little sponge applicator that comes with the palette. I'm gonna dip it into this warm shade here, and I'm gonna apply that right over the pencil. And I'm also going to extend this line. Wow, that is really pigmented, CoverGirl. Very, very, very impressive. Then I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush, M503 from Morphe, and I'm gonna soften that, blend that out. I'm gonna make it just a pinch more profesh looking. And these CoverGirl shadows are really, really, really impressive. They blend out easily, the pigment is there, they're affordable, obviously, drugstore products. Let me know if you guys have seen these, because they are new. CoverGirl just recently went cruelty-free. That's amazing. So I'm gonna show them some love, because they definitely deserve it. I'm gonna reach into this Becky G palette, and I'm gonna pick up this peachy shade here. Same brush. This one's called Lola. And I'm just gonna work that right above the previous shade. Flicking it out at the end towards the tail end of the brow. Oh yeah, just like that. So now I'm gonna go back with that pencil brush, pick up this reddish brown shade, and I'm gonna re-emphasize and kind of just thicken this line a little bit, but just at the outer portion. And then go back with the blending brush and just back and forth, forth and back. For the lid, I'm really liking this gold right here. Corona, <clears throat> I'm really liking that gold now. And I also have this liquid gold from Flower Beauty, and it's called their Warrior Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Bomb. So this is a very different texture, but but it's absolutely stunning. I'm gonna apply it ooh, straight with the wand, right in that space. I've really been into all these liquid eyeshadows lately. Cause let's face it, if I was to use a gold traditional eyeshadow, it would be more like a Christmas festivities look, but not like a Christmas lativities. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna add another layer. But while I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna pick up this CoverGirl Chocoholic palette and I'm gonna use one of these glittery shades here because they are just so pretty. Should I go ahead and use a sponge applicator again for this? Oh, why not? Let's do it. A little bit of fallout there, that's okay. I'm gonna apply that right to that outer corner. I'm gonna apply a little bit above that crease that I created. I'm gonna try this with my finger. I feel like this is one of those shadows that will apply better with a finger than a sponge or a brush. So I'm just gonna continue piling it on. And I'm gonna go back to that warrior eyeshadow and apply a little bit more to the center. And I'm gonna blend that into the brown ever so slightly. Typically always do my lips last, but because I'm in a hurry, we are gonna be moving quickly. I'm using Laura Mercier Ruby Lip Liner. You know it's a super easy little trick to make yourself look a little bit more flattering and approachable? <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me. Take your lip liner pencil and just lift the outer corners of your mouth slightly up. 
kind of like that. So when you smile, kind of just faces up. And now for my lipstick, I have these three gorgeous new lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge and her new makeup line. I have never seen this before in my entire life. These are velvet freaking lipsticks. It's absolutely ridiculous. I am gonna go for red. This one is called Velvet Ribbon. You can get it on lisaeldridge.com. Oh my God, my first time using it. I'm so excited. Of course, you can use any red lipstick that you would like. You can use a non-transferable one. I just wanted to test these out because they are just so brilliant, so beautiful, and I want to give you guys the scoop. Okay, so now that the lids have dried, I want to add a little bit more smoke, so I'm gonna go back to the Chocoholic palette from CoverGirl. Take a tiny little pointed fluffy brush, M507. Gonna reach into this gunmetal grayish brown shade, and I'm just gonna add that right here. To keep my eye open, just add a smidge. Now I'm gonna take the same shade and just extend that into the lower lash line, add a little bit of shadow to that outer portion. Not certain if I want liner for this look, but I am gonna wear lashes, so I'm gonna do a very, very fine line of liquid liner using my usual Balm Cosmetics Schwing Liner. Every time I do a cat eye, I start off saying that I'm not gonna create a wing, and then I create a small wing, and then I want more to wing or not to wing. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in the waterproof formula. Now for the inner corner, I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier Sugar Frost Caviar Stick Eye Color, and I'm gonna dot just a little bit to my inner corner. Then I'm gonna take my Mary Luminizer Highlighter, and with a little brush, I'm gonna add just a little bit to that inner corner on top of the Laura Mercier. I'm also gonna add a pinch on my nose, pinch down my nose bridge, a little bit on my chin, and of course, I'm also going to add it as a highlighter. For my lashes today, I have a ton of Ardell Wispies. These double Demi Wispies are looking really good to me. I'm gonna put those on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, here is my final look with the red lips, with the lashes, with the straightened hair. I think this look is perfect for any office party, Christmas party that you have going on or that you may be throwing. I hope you get to try it. I hope you like it as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. I woke up like this. <laughs> Lee, yeah. you're making noise. Huh? You're making noise. Mm. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing. Check out some of my other videos right here. More holiday looks, more Christmas looks coming at ya. I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.